Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I did a look featuring two palettes, not one but two. Don't mind my ratchet nails. These are hard to pull off. Can you blame me? Popped off the others. I did a eye look using these two palettes. Well, using this palette. This palette is the Huda Beauty Rose Good Rose Gold Edition. Uh, this is not the remastered one, and I hate when companies do that. They're like, hey, here's a new one. Dude, I just spent $65 on this one, and then you're gonna go like remaster it? Why? That sucks. Don't do that to me. <laughs> So anyway, this is a beautiful palette. $65, that's pretty expensive. But you think about it, some companies, one shadow will cost like 10 bucks. So like 10 times, six times three is 18. That's a lot of money if you were to buy it individually. So palettes do save you a ton of money. But then I found this other palette, definitely a duplicate or a dupe whatever, um, by Makeup Revolution. And I heard that they are known as like a dupe company or a dupe brand, whatever. But, whoa. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna cover this with my ugly nails. But look at this palette. Isn't it a pretty palette? And it was only $15. So $15 versus $65 like ooh, ooh, saves you a lot of money right like um I will say though that this the Huda Beauty palette is of course it's more creamier it's a tinge bit more pigmented but for $65 that's what you should get you know versus the Makeup Revolution palette I just don't want this thing to sell show um it is it's not as creamy the mattes are doable they're definitely doable they're not creamy like the Huda Beauty one but they still like look at my eyes so this side I did Huda Beauty and then this side I did the Makeup Revolution palette and they I pretty much did it to where they kind of like look the same and if I like really, really look at it, I'm like, okay, I think I like the Makeup Revolution side better. Like, I feel like this side kind of faded. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I blended one time more on this side. I don't know. But anyway, it's still like you can't tell. Can you? I hope you can't. Because the whole purpose of this is to show that they're pretty much the same. And you can save 50 bucks by just purchasing this one. But... Even the the shimmeries, the glitteries, the all that, it's almost the same. Like look at that. And look at that. How do you how do you not? How do you not? Um let me do a swatch for you. So I have this green color which is called let me see. Touch me, right? On my eyelid. On your right, my left. Here's what it look. Wait, here's what it looks like. Wait. Like it still feels creamy. Let me do another one. There. See that? Okay, I'm gonna do the Huda one. And this one is Dubai. I'm gonna go there one day. what okay well this one obviously looks a little darker but it can do it'll do look like the hell let me do it on here okay this is makeup revolution and this is huda beauty okay did that look okay do you see that? Come on. I'm 
I'm gonna do 24 carat with my middle finger. Dry that off. So Huda Beauty, right? That's such a pretty color. Then I'm gonna take Hard Work right here by Makeup Revolution with my ring finger. Bam. Like what? It's not bad. Like it's not as bright as a Huda one, but dude, it'll work. Like Makeup Revolution, Huda. Makeup Revolution, Huda. It'll do good. It, pff, come on. Saving 50 bucks. I mean, they're both very beautiful palettes. I still love the Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty one. I still love the Huda Beauty one. Wait, let's do one, one more swatch, one more swatch. My camera's gonna die. We'll do Trust Fund right here on my middle finger. Your Huda. And I'm gonna take check, check, check. I don't know how to say it. I butchered that one. And I'll put it right there. Ooh, ooh, what the hell? Okay. Anyway, my point is you, get, you, you can get amazing stuff for, you know, something that's inexpensive and that's pretty freaking awesome right just if you don't I'm, I'm saying you know if you don't have the money there's always alternatives always alternatives like you don't have to buy a hundred dollar foundation you don't have to buy a fifty dollar foundation you don't have to buy a sixty five dollar palette eventually an alternative came out so if you want to know how to do this I look, then just keep watching. Okay, fix the hair. Get ready for this. Check out my nails. They're a little ratchet, but it's okay. So I'm going to show you this thing. It's a color switch by Veramona, and this thing's pretty amazing. What you do is you clean your brush after every eyeshadow use, and there's no, literally no excess eyeshadow that'll still be on the brush <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the Huda Beauty palette the rose gold palette and using the color Bay to set my primer all over my eyelid and then we're gonna clean off that brush using the Veramona color switch I'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution chocolate rose gold palette and I'm gonna use the color independent then I cleaned my brush. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna use Sienna. So this will be our blending color base. So I start off in the corner, the outer corner, and slowly build up the color. We're gonna do like a halo eye type of look, or at least we're gonna try to. Try my best. Two different palettes was, it was pretty cool, but it, it it was a little hard switching off here and there. So I'm going to bring that color all the way in to my inner corner. Buff that out. Blend it in circular motions. Now you constantly blend a lot with the halo eye look. Because you want everything to look smooth when you put in the other colors. Then I'm going to go in back with the Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm using the color My Own. So I'm going to do the same thing. Blend it all out, inner corner, outer corner, blend, 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 so everything looks a little smooth. So the colors are pretty similar. Um, it was a little orangey, so I had to throw in this next color, Side Chick, to kind of give it that burgundy color that Sienna gave off in the Rose Gold Huda Beauty palette. So I'm adding a little bit of that to kind of make it look similar on both eyes um but we make it work we make do we make do over here now this one's a little more maroon so i go back in and clean my brush again 
And I'm gonna kind of show you that, look at that. There's no color coming out. It's pretty crazy. Now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna use sandalwood. So what I'm gonna do is just basically go over that previous color we had put in and buff that all out and constantly just blend, blend, blend. I, that's, I feel like that's all I say in my videos, blend, blend, blend. But it's important. We need that nice, soft eyeshadow look. So we're not going in with a big fluffy brush. We're going to go in with a fluffier brush. Fl not fluffier, less fluffier. And kind of intense up the color. Now I'm going to go in with Bossy. And I'm going to take a smaller brush, which is what I normally use for my crease. And we're going to place this on the outer corner so what I normally do is I tightly well not tightly but I kind of like tap it onto my lid first to kind of place where I want the eyeshadow to be and then I like blend it all out afterwards then I went in with a smaller brush because I don't like for the inner corner I don't like going in with the same brush to place the color there because my eye gets all irritated and then some of the little hairs go into my eyeball and then they get all watery. So we're going to place that on the outer corner and the inner corner and blend that out. And then I'm going to show you again that there's no color on the brush. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution palette and use the color Girl Boss and do the same exact thing. Now you see how... They are so similar. I was like so shocked when I went shopping for this palette. Well, I found the palette on accident and I was like, no way. This looks like the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. And sure enough, when I kind of like did my eyeshadow, I did a little, little test trial first. And dude, you can't even tell they're different unless you really, really, really look. And <laughs> I just basically want to show you guys that you know you don't need to spend that much money to get like good eyeshadows anyway back to the eyeshadow part of this tutorial we're doing the same exact thing that we did on my right eye your left eye well your left eye my left eye that you're watching it looks like it's on left but it's my right anyway so I go back in with the fluffy brush and I blend it all out I I don't feel like saying the number of the brushes so I'm so sorry but it, it's the same brushes I use in my previous video so if you kind of watch my other videos it's the same brushes um, and then we're gonna go in with Dubai which is pretty much I love this color sorry to go off subject kind of but I love this color I swore because I had placed the color onto my eyelid and there was fallout it's not a bad thing though but like I should have like set my eyes so if you don't want the fallout going everywhere on your face because it'll kind of stick to your skin and then you'll ruin your foundation what you do is you grab some setting powder and you put it under your eye and then you wipe it away after and then Anyway, the Makeup Revolution palette, this color is called Touch Me. I needed a little more payoff, so I used my MAC Fix Plus to pop the color a little more. And then I'm going to go with Blessed in the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm going to place that right on top of that same color. And then this one is called Go Digger on the Makeup Revolution palette. Place that exactly like what we did on the same side place that over that nice green olive color and then I'm going to go in with my brushes the previous brushes that I has, had used I didn't add any color to the brush clean off that hair and um, basically blend everything out blend out all the edges on that olive green color you want everything to look smooth and creamy and buttery and all that so just blend the edges take your time I know it can get annoying but it, it's worth it then I'm going to dust off all this setting powder which is yeah <laughs> and then I'm going to retouch my face with the bronzer the highlight the blush all of that and then we're going to do bottom 
I just, whoa, I just totally skipped everything. Anyway, I did eyeliner, basic eyeliner. I'm terrible at eyeliner, by the way. And then I'm going to go in with the darkest brown color in the two palettes. Well, the Huda Beauty side on the Huda Beauty eye and then the Makeup Revolution on the Makeup Revolution eye. And I'm just taking that brown color and pretty much setting the black eyeliner. And then I'm buffing it out with a pencil brush with the more sienna brownish orangish color then i'm gonna highlight under the brow bone under the eyebrow i use moon dust on the huda beauty side and then hold up on the makeup revolution side and then i'm gonna highlight the inner corners as well and then you can obviously see that the huda beauty side has a better payoff <laughs> that's the only thing you could really notice and then my favorite lashes the luxie lashes 726 i wanted a lighter lash so that way the eyeshadow can show more like this anyway thank you so much for watching subscribe if you want to subscribe and i'll see you later